It is good to be whole once again. Because he's a part of me. If you cut off a limb, you'd want it back too, wouldn't you? Furthermore, I think I've learned mediocre poetry. Thank you for your help, even. Without him, I'm not the same. But with him, I'm accomplished. He says hello, by the way, even. He says he hopes to see you again, very soon. He's a part of me, and I can't just throw that away. Even, may I give you some advice? Don't ignore your dark side. It's a part of you that festers if you don't address it. And in the right hands, it can have some productive uses. I'll represent the people of my town. I'm shutting down the moon building project. It's the least I can do. From there on, we shall see. We move forward as a united city. There's more than one path ahead of us. But the people of this great town have always been good at dealing with multiplicity. As time goes forward, we'll all merge back together. We'll still have split personalities, but that's an advantage. Everyone has a better half. Every half can do something the other can't. Every half helps the other half out. It's the two-town way. It's been a very strange time for us here too, even. But in saving us, you become an inextricable part of that. Wherever you go, a small part of Two Town now goes with you. And strange is good. Goodbye, even. You will always have my thanks. And so, even went to give Seymour his eyes back. I'm positive he was dying to make eye contact with his pupils once again. <laughs> and wait a minute. Oh dear. These are terrible. I'll edit them out later. Nice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you seeing this? What's it done? That's a spiffy nice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. What I? But, uh, I didn't do anything to my twin! I... deserve that. It was a moment of weakness. I didn't think it through. It's awful in the upside downtown, and I just knew I'd hate it there. And Big Red is so easy to trick, because she's me. We're the same person. Born into two different bodies. I'm so ashamed. She's got the best parts of the two of us. She's so important to me. And I just... I sold her out. Please, can you help her? I know I've already asked so much, but...
That's it. That's it exactly. You did? Now she's going to kill me! And I'm grateful that you gave her back the freedom to do so. You've let me take back the greatest mistake of my life. And I know my relationship with Big Red will never be the same. But at least now I have a chance to fix it. I wouldn't have that without you. Thank you, even. And here, for luck better than mine. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Yeah. Raise the stakes with a new card. Manny's got Hello, what he needs. to random and lo no, it was good oh dear do i ever shut up and lo did the number two inspire all to praise the hey what happened i heard a ruckus long story but i've got your eyes seymour oh my peepers and weepers! Oh, I've missed you so much! <laughs> oh. Ah, much better. <laughs> and as for those pips, if you don't mind, it just takes a little precision, the utmost finesse, and... <laughs> Done! Good as new, little buddy! Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for helping me properly see you again. I mean, I suppose I could. There is room for more. All over random there are mythical creatures hiding from the clutches of the queen. Difficult to find, but they may have some. Keep your eyes peeled and senses even sharper even. Oh, and remember, all this dice business? Shh, it's our secret. So, what are you going to do now? The old one-step-at-a-time approach, eh? Well, that's a healthy way to approach the unknown. Well, I wish you well on your next adventure. And uh, if I could give you some semi-solicited advice. Every roll of the dice matters. But not every roll counts. Isn't it, though? It's <laughs> so fun. Bye, even. I'll miss you. But I'm sure we'll see each other again in far-off places. enter the land of three. Who knew what adventures awaited her there? The answer is me. I do. I'm the narrator. But for even and Dicey, the adventure was just beginning. And even sister was still out there, somewhere, lost in random.
home, I guess. Desire it, Odd. You're twelve. There are things you don't understand yet. Anyway, forget it. Because I have something for you, Odd. Something special. <laughs> that rudeness. That's your one or origin showing. Don't worry. We'll break you of that yet. And it's not a gift. It's something to be earned. But for now... Go on, try it. I had it made just for you. Terrifying night. They were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. Come on, Dicey! We can't let it get away! <whistles> Hurry! She's in our sights! Not today, Spider Monster! I always knew I was a Sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a Sixer child is missing! 
I repeat. Look, it's Bernie from back home. Of course we should help him. He'll be eaten alive out here. The spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew... Come on! We've got to find him! Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. I was done anyway. itself apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father. Three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. It's and a giant battle droid, given to each by the Queen to settle the matter. Made it to three town, have you? Be careful here. Those triplets don't mess around. But then again, that just gives you three good reasons to buy some cars, eh? <laughs> you did. I saw you there too. But now we're both here, and that means one thing. Let's trade cards. Let me answer that question with a question. Who could possibly dwell on the past when we've got cards in the present? So, let's trade, shall we? Understand. <laughs> Most of us here are. This bell belonged to my family, don't you know? It still does, I suppose. It has. I'm noble, you understand. Heck, most of us here are. I suppose it is. I don't know any other way to live, you understand. 
It belonged to the triplets, and before then, it belonged to the Lord or King of Freedom, before his murder. Just so. But I'm a distant relative, far enough to stand outside the daily battles and to not choose a side. You know, I have another distant relative, a cousin of mine, that I haven't heard from in some time. Not since this cursed civil war started. Last I heard, she was in the Duke's garden, playing nobility, eating cakes, I suppose. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her, that's all. It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. And it would do my heart good to know that she knows I do miss her. But it's too dangerous for me to go stumbling around the battlefield. Please excuse me. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her. That's all. It's fascinating. Silly, fascinating. Greetings. I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Do you have a moment? Splendid, splendid. I have only one question. Who do you think started this war, turning our lord, their father's castle, into a battlefield? Surely you know the story of the three siblings? Oh, what fun. Yes, let's. So, since you're hearing this for the first time, uh, let me tell you about the three siblings involved. There's the paranoid Count up in High Bet Haven to the west. The soft and coddled Duke living in Fogwash Garden to the north. And the duty-bound and tough-as-heck Baroness living out east on Wildcard Hill. Who do you think did it? Who do you think killed their father and started this bloody civil war? None of them? None of them? Oh, I've, I, I've never heard such an opinion before. It's bold. It's direct. It's quite possibly insane. I'll write it down right here in my survey. Greetings. I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Do you- do you come see me? Why'd you ask, stranger? What's your motivation in all of this? Oh, how heartbreaking for you. How tragic, you poor child. Oh, heavens no. That sort of thing wouldn't interest me at all. Good grief, spying on people. I make a point of not remembering anyone I see in public. Privacy is very important to me, you understand. What with that paranoid count demanding full reports of everything everyone does every day and all. I promise it, stranger. Find them! Let none who attack the king... Uh, let none of them... Um... Well... The king must be saved! What? Identify yourself, stranger! I am Nishka, and I'm... I'm... I... I, I used to protect somebody important, I think. A ruler, maybe? 
before the war. Oh, even you sweet child. You can't keep clinging to the past. The king's dead and gone now for years, don't you remember? What? How did you know my name? A lucky guess. About what? What were you guessing about? The king! Protect the king from danger! <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to get back home. But I can't get back home without knowing the way. Or can I? Oh, <laughs> hey, mister. Uh, do you know the way to one... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you want a hug? Uh, uh, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow, it's, it's pretty cold in here and dark, too. Alive? I thought I saw one running around here recently. A young lad. Boxy clothing. Can't rightly say, unfortunately. But you'd better find him quick, before the Shadow Man does. <laughs> Everyone knows about the Shadow Man, child. Especially children out all alone. Kids never run around here unsupervised. That's what the Shadow Man ensures. All I know is that if a kid's missing, the Shadow Man's probably got him. As well they should. You should be afraid, child. Even suddenly felt like she was being watched. And to tell you the truth, I did too. boy about yay high let me think uh, this one oh wow even is that you i'm so glad to see you can you believe i'm stuck let him out haven't 
wish you had the big time stories? I'm what goes bump in the night. I'm what comes for children when they roam a little too far from home. This is what I do? Or what I used to do anyway? Before this silly war? That may be true, but there is another truth. That if you're not afraid now, you'll soon learn to be. He's mine now. I won't be letting him go. I believe you'd call that leverage. No. No, I'm afraid that's not what I do. But I would be willing to trade. Nothing you have, child. And I suspect nothing you can bring me. That remains to be seen. But perhaps you're right. I want the same thing all of us want here. Peace. I want the Triplet's War to end. Oh, I'm not. I'm the creature that moves in the dark type. But people only truly fear things that move in the dark during peace. During war, they are surrounded by greater threats all day long. And so nobody fears the Shadow Man anymore. Life is a greater horror. And they have overindulged, forgotten me. If you want me to give you Bernard, then I want you to change that. I don't care how. I don't care about anything even. Except being feared by everyone again. I've watched you. I know you're a dice wielder. I've been around for centuries, even. I know more than your mortal world has forgotten. You alone carry the power to affect the arenas and those giant robots. Figure it out, or you will never see your precious Bernard, or any other child I choose to take again. Without peace, there will be no boy, no hope. And you will never see your sister again. For you, there are currently more important questions at stake. Go, even. Bernie's fate rests on your tiny shoulders. And my hunger won't be held at bay forever. To save Bernard from the wretched Shadow Man, even had to end Freedom's civil war. It was a hard task, an impossible task, but she wasn't going to let her friend die. The first thing she needed was information. Perhaps some of the locals would be willing to share what they knew.
that poor woman? Completely mad. Have you seen Nishka? That poor woman. Completely mad. Greetings. I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Do you have a moment? Splendid, splendid. I have only one question. Who do you, who do you think did it? Who do you think? None of them. You, I remember you. We've spoken before, haven't we? No, I don't... I don't remember much, and... I'm sorry, what did you want? Oh, with the children. The three children. They... They... Well, something happened. No! No, I was there to protect him! I was his bodyguard, and he was betrayed! We were betrayed! Done wrong by someone who... who wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... It was such a shame, such a... Uh, I'm sorry, I... I forgot what we were talking about. Hello? Do I know you? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly and then... Poof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Holding an important artifact that reminds me of a person or an event that could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet. That could bring it all back. Oh, and if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. What's that you say? The king was murdered? Oh, oh, whoa. I was supposed to protect him, I was. Oh, if only I could remember! <laughs> that platform reminds me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. <sighs> Oh well, it's probably fine, and we should all stop worrying about it. Boys, I guess Tays Dolph Gabba. Tell full to Pangaizam Dalvo. Tail the Belfie. Yes, a war zone was no place for most children. But even suspected, she could carve out a place for her there. With her dice by her side. Come on, Dicey! Though he thought it's funny, your little friend up there reminds me of something. He seems so small and quiet, but a memory somewhere is whispering to me that he's so... Oh, what's the word? Ah, yes, I remember now. Dangerous. He's brimming with power, isn't he? The power to reshape the world, ready to blow, just waiting for the trigger. What were we talking about again?
seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, and even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? Now, even suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the king's murder? It's the Count! Ladies and gentlemen, the Count has won the roll! The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else... Hi there! I'm Tea Time Tootsie. I used to be our late king's master planner. Hey, we don't choose our names, our parents did. Oh, well, the Nanny Fortuna renamed me after my uh, well, previous master was murdered. I hear she likes tea. Every day I watch the battles and come up with the most thrilling stratagems for the next day. The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know. Observation, my dear girl, which leads to knowledge. Knowledge, to coin a phrase, is power. I just invented that saying right now. Here, let me give you an example. Every day the dice is rolled, and every day one of the Colossuses moves. Everyone noticed. But what everyone else has failed to notice is how the winning Colossus brings most of the robots he commands with it, and that leaves the area behind safer to traverse. Do any of the triples use this information? Perhaps attacking from behind on the day the dice favors them? No. Only I see it. By the order of Nanny Fortuna, I am not to work for either of them. Although I would be interested in learning more about the triplets for observational purposes only. Tell you what, if you meet them, come back here and describe them to me. There'd be a reward in it for you. Life never goes the way you expect, does it? All at the whim of a dice roll. Hey, kid. You want to hear a story? Oh, <laughs> good. You're showing an old soldier of kindness, kid. There's a saying in Freetown, bad luck comes in threes. Well, it was right. I was there in the first battle. The first time the triplets fought, right after the king died, it was savage. The triplets, oh, I didn't hold anything back. It was as fierce and as destructive as the dice maker's own fury. And when it was over, well, that's just it, isn't it? It never ended. We're still fighting those same battles every day. And me, I'm just about out of fight. Life never goes the way you expect, does it? All at the whim of a dice roll.
Everyone's looking for someone here. Me? I'm looking for my brother Henry. Lost him somewhere in the Duke's territory, or running away from the machines. I'm sure he's alive, though. I see him in my dreams, though he doesn't see me. Stay safe out there, kid. Heels here! Get your heels here! Cards will never fall down when you've built it with Manny's help. Deals here! Get your deals here! War is good for business. Everybody needs something in a war. That means you can jack up your prices like crazy. Oh, why? I mean, jack up the deals on your prices like crazy. <laughs> Everything must go, kid. I can tell you this much, kid. You'll change your mind. Everyone comes to trade with me eventually. That's the beauty of war, kid. Everybody needs something, and I've got something for everyone. Only when it comes to deals, kid. Check them out. Everybody needs something, and I've got something for everyone. Someone has entered your ruin, uh, castle, your grace. Huh, I swear, it must be my bloody sister, the Baroness. Or my fancy pants brother, who thinks he's so much better than me. <laughs> Sending their assassins to smother me in my sleep. But this count is awake and ready for you! You hear that, assassins?
you're here to kill me, aren't you? And then die by your traitorous hand? Bah! War! Have you ever marched out into a battle, little girl? I don't know, assassin school? Unlike you, mysterious interloper, I have been in battle every day in my mind. You're being obsequious. You're being kind because you want me to let my guard down and then kill me. Kids can be assassins. I've heard of it in stories that may or may not have been based on truth. End it? How can you end it when the Colossus has already moved more than once today? This war is only heating up. What's wrong? Everything! My bodyguard is dead, the war goes poorly, and then well, and then poorly again. And on top of that, Count Shmoo has been kidnapped. The third of his name, yes. He was stolen from me by the vicious Baroness, my meanie of a sister. Shmoo is like a son to me, and I haven't been able to sleep since he was taken. Do this for me, and I shall give you something. Hmm? How do you like that? Nishka, the only one I could trust besides my father. She disappeared when he was killed, but you're in no shape to replace her, child. <laughs> she was the whole family's bodyguard. She was great. Or... Oh. So I thought until she let one of us, not me, kill my father. Of course, obviously I would keep track of that. Someone took it. A little bird whispered that it's locked up in the head of the broken colossus that used to be my father's. It should be collecting ashes somewhere in the battlefield. Why, was someone going to use it to assassinate me? Well, good. Even if she's alive, that leaves my lands undefended and myself open to assassination. Ha! It'll never happen. War bores me. It's just, oh no, this person died. Oh no, this other person died. Bah! Tell me when I've died and then I'm interested in avoiding it, obviously. So that's the deal. Find my plushie, and I'll give you... Um... Hmm. You know what? Sure, you can have it. It's creepy anyway. It's a black pinky taken from the scene of the crime of my father's murder. Tis yours if you recover Shmoo for me. Deal? What? No! Do my quest first! No! No, I told you, you have to go find Shmoo! You wouldn't! You'd assassinate me? You joke about that? Ooh. <laughs> Assassins! You... You kill me for an old pinky? Well, you can have it. Just just take it. I'll go get someone else to get shmoo. Now just just leave me alone. Oh, shmoo! You're back! You lovable little scamp! I should scold you! You had me worried to death! Oh, 
But I can't stay mad at that face. You... You found him? Even though you said you wouldn't and threatened me with assassination? Ah, I'm so happy you changed your mind. You're not an assassin after all, and I take back all the bad things I said about you, publicly, whenever I could. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You've done good here today, noble child. You've returned my shmoo to me, which is just about the exact opposite of assassinating me. I'm forever in your debt. Or, rather, I would be if we hadn't already agreed that we'd be square if I gave you this weird shrunken finger I found. Here, why don't you take card as a bonus? And don't let anyone ever say the Count isn't unpredictably nice at random intervals. Okay, fare thee well. Thanks for not killing me. And watch out for assassins! Bold of you to be just running around here. Narmen, Kane or Dorke, Gorkash, Kataka Poen, Gorkash, Narmen, Go, Das, Dorke, Kane or Dwak, Dickay, No, Mulha, Akis, Gone, Kisnehena. Nore kina, kina na kone i. O kos kame ne ina. Ah, kira kai kame ne. No kos ke, na kos ta ke ro. The three robots out there. They're always just destroying things. They don't care for our kind, you know. are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex, Esquire. Poor Even. You still don't know how to say what you want. Hello, Even. You're not asking the right questions. You're still not asking the right questions. But I wonder if you can help me, Even. My sisters. The children of the king aren't the only triplets in Threedom. In the middle of this war, my twin sisters appeared, and like you. I feel like a part of me is missing. Can you find them for me? That's not important. 
you'll know them when you see them. After all, you knew me. If you find them, tell them to meet me at the safe spot, over by the sword bridges. Find us there once we're all gathered, and I will have something for you. You'll find us among the teapots, in the trenches, and under the ground. I hope to see you again, even. Sir, a thousand apologies, sir, but your mid-afternoon cake was burnt in the chef's oven. A cake flambe? <laughs> oh, how delightfully decadent. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> but, sire, it's burnt to a crisp. Ooh, a new flavor I haven't experienced for years. <laughs> what an amusing diversion. Have chef serve it to me at dinner, and if he refuses, kill him, and then yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. The Duke certainly lived in style. Oh, it was all a show, and the horrors of war did sometimes bleed through the artifice the Duke had constructed. But if he ever noticed it, he certainly never let it show. I'm having a ball. Simply a great time. You don't fit in here, my dear. Oh, I most certainly will not. Anything to break up the tedium of war and these endless parties. Why, you may be our only hope, dear. My brother, Arthur. You remind me of him. He was a soldier, and I see the same determination in your eyes, child. Oh, I do wonder what's become of him. Well, dear, aren't you a ray of sunshine on a rainy day? My only brother. Still out there? Thank you. You've raised this old fool's spirit. Hi, those war. It's a the ball. Who is I? Who boy I there? Who is I there? Where's all my kids? Who is there? I got it. Oh, you know what? Oh, four guys there. Oh, You, you may approach. What? You make a demand before a proper introduction? No, no, no! I shall not speak to such impertinence! Leave! 
and return only when you can greet me properly. You! What? You! No, no, no! This simply will not do! That is not how you greet a duke, child. Leave. Hello, darling. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Poor dear. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Run along now. Well, I never. Look at you. You're the spitting image of an unskilled laborer. Perhaps a chimney sweep? Child, child, no. You simply can't address people this way. You must always use their titles. For example, I am to be addressed as my most esteemed lady. And the Duke is your Imperial Majesty, rightful Lord of Freedom. Without the right titles, none of us can possibly be expected to respond to you. It's a simple matter of respect. You're very welcome, little lady. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, child. Look at you, child. Why, you might as well be dressed in rugs. Who are you? And what brings you here? Oh no, child! That is not how you introduce yourself in conversation. You must always curtsy first. Oh no, heavens no! You want just a slight bob at the end, child. It's always so unseemly when a lady goes down too far and then snaps her head up like a... A drinking bird. Here, like this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, yes. Perfectly wonderful. Now, what did you want to discuss? <laughs> I'm afraid I wouldn't know about that. Pity. Well, good luck. You want just a slight bob at the end, child. It's always so unseemly when a lady goes down too far and then snaps her head up like a... a drinking bird. Hello, darling. You're a long way from home, aren't you? No, no, darling. That's not how you address a superior. In this kingdom, whenever you meet someone of a higher station, you must always begin by saying... Begging your forgiveness, sir or madam. There you go, darling. Now go on, run along. You! You! Yes. So... Oh. Well, well now. Finally some respect around here. <laughs> well met, Lady Eve. What brings you to the company of the Duke, the one and only rightful ruler of freedom today? Our old bodyguard? Oh, heavens, what is there left to say? She protected us until she didn't. And my dear father paid the price. I haven't heard from her since. She's dead and gone, I suppose. Oh, good for her. I should send her a cake. Only, we haven't one to spare, you understand. But no, I couldn't possibly leave the castle. 
The horrors of war wait outside, child, and I can't have my people remembering them. No, no, out of the question. I have only your word that she's even alive, and we've just become acquainted. Then again... All right, I, in my infinite wisdom and appetites, have decided to do you a favor. I will give you something of extreme value if you will in turn do me a favor first. There is a portrait of me here. Certainly, you've noticed my beauty, my handsomeness, my regal demeanor. <laughs> I am there with my father, his favorite child. However, part of the painting is missing. When we split our lands after my father died, the Count took control over the old royal nostalgia. I'm sure the second half is there. And it proves that I was father's favorite. Return with it to me, and you shall be rewarded. What other way is there to live? What? As a commoner? <laughs> We've already got plenty of them, I'm afraid. But there's only one me. I owe it to my people to be the most me I can be. Pass me some sweets, will you? <laughs> what is there to say? The dreadful thing drags on, my insolent siblings refusing to give any quarter. But they'll come to their senses at some point and surrender. But until then, sweets do make the time pass more pleasantly. Don't you agree? <laughs> Well, I didn't kill him, if that's what you're asking. I found him dead, with the murder weapon still sticking out of him. Such impertinence! No, you can't have it. One of my lovely spies told me someone locked it up on Father's robot's head. Giant, beastly thing. <laughs> I'm afraid that robot is long gone. Probably turned to scrap by now. Well, I didn't kill him, if that's what you're asking. I foam. Oh, you know how things grow legs and walk off sometimes. Metaphorically speaking, I think. One of my lovely spies told me something. In the nostalgia, on the Count's land, I'm sure that wicked brother.
The war. It's killing the city. It's killing us.
burning daylight even. And I don't think I like what I see. think it is. Yes, yes, this is the piece. And don't I look dashing. It was my pre-wig period, mind you. But I, well, wait a minute. We're all sitting in his lap. But, but that means Daddy loved us all equally? <laughs> Ah, well, I suppose I did, even if the painting was a disappointment. Mm. Here, have this worthless thing, worth a fortune to a commoner like you, and I'll hardly notice its absence. And don't let anyone say the nobility isn't as kind as it is cake-filled. With a memento of the Duke in her hands, even was one step closer to being able to trigger Nishka's memories of that fateful night.
I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna die in battle soon, and I did feel bad about it. <laughs> but now I feel fine about it. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling no pain these days. <laughs> better than that calm breathing fella let's begin by chugging a pint of zupa juice ah, that's what i like to hear now that our thirst has been sated let's carefully stretch things out warriors protect their joints ah, now for axe training swing wide imagine you're chopping down a tree Imagine you're chopping down an enemy! Imagine you're chopping down a friend! You just murdered your friend with an axe! You're a warrior! Warriors don't think, they war! That's why it's called warrior! Now we're working on our battle cries! We need to scream so that our enemies know that we're here! so they can be afraid and they die of fear! Can you scream hard enough to make strangers die? Yes! Finally, let's focus on our motivation! Do warriors need motivation? No! Motivation is for actors! But they do need battle zone inspirations! So think of who you're fighting for. Is it glory? 
No! Is it one of the triplets? No! You're fighting for war! Because war needs warriors, and warriors need war! So every war you war yourself into is a new war for warriors! Have I said war enough that the word war no longer has any war meaning? War! War! Even wondered what she'd been caught up in. Ooh, but at least she felt motivated. That concludes Warrior's Workout! Yes! The Baroness lived atop Wildcard Hill. A training ground for war, and a home to warriors. It was not a place for children. But then again, thought even, what part of freedom was?
Well, well. Color me impressed. Most interlopers find themselves dead long before this point. How did a child like you make it up here? Ha! A likely story. You must have just snuck past them. Blind chance. At ease, child. Well then, at ease even. Look at you. You're not even old enough to be a recruit. You're soft, aren't you? No, I suppose you're not. You're learning. But you are a long way from home. What can I do for you even? Simple thing, really, but it requires complicated strategy. One or both of my brothers defeated our bodyguard and killed our father. I don't let that stand, soldier, so I fight. And when I win, they will pay for their transgressions. Not surprised. Nishka's damn tough. And if anyone could survive out there, it's her. She taught me how to win a fight. Taught me how to never surrender. Taught me the importance of duty. Oh, I doubt that very much. We share a respect and a bond forged in battle training. But she'd never say anything so soft. How is she other than alive? Impossible! I am too busy waging and winning this war. Ha 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 ha! A child coming here and asking for a gift. The sheer gall. But I admire the courage. Tell you what, even. I happen to own the mighty mechanical arm that once belonged to Nishka. If you can take it, it's yours. If not, it ought to remind her of her failure to protect my father. This arm, it's only the most heavily guarded item in my entire freedom. I like your spunk, even, so let me warn you. You will fail. You may even die. So do the smart thing and go back to whatever teapot shack you came from. Fight war, soldier. That's what leaders do. And great leaders, well, they win them. My brothers have been a blight on this land for too long. Yes. Yes, I expect they would. Suddenly, I think, I found him too late. The murder weapon was still there, but someone took it and stashed it inside the head of his own personal giant robot. The robot's long since destroyed now. The queen of all random had it dismantled after my father died. I think she feared the old man and that his murder came as a dark blessing to her rule. Ah, but you didn't hear that from me. Can you defeat my robots to claim it? No? Well then, there's your answer, even. Even knew what she needed to do to get something that would jog Nishka's On memory. Darling, Win the much. most protected treasure in the most militarized kingdom. She knew it would be hard, but she also knew that the chance of ending this war, if indeed she could end it, would be worth it. I miss my darling wife so much. Oh, the most beautiful woman you can imagine, with a smile that melts my heart away every time I think of it. Of her, if I could just see her again, I'd tell her. I tell her I love her, and that the second this war's over, I'm coming back to her. Nobody will ever separate us again. If only.
Attend, huck! Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, what can I do for you, ma'am? Ma'am, as tough as she is smart, which is to say a lot, a master strategist, a stern disciplinarian, and the one true ruler of freedom. Finish this fight by destroying the tower. To destroy the tower, you must lead your plague piece onto the appropriate tile in order to fire your cannons. Button to fire the cannon. to fire the cannon.
the button to fire the cannon. Watch out! The Baroness now has two cannons! to fire the cannon. to fire the cannon.
shoot the button to fire the cannon. We are nearing the final rounds. The board game is about to end. Impossible! You can't have it! Give it here! Ha! Huh. Turnabout is fair play, I suppose. You have a future in my militia, even. Very well. Keep the arm. And if you see Nishka, tell her. Never mind. Just treat her well. She's earned that, at least. Armed with Nishka's arm, even had all she needed to remind the old bodyguard of the Baroness. She just hoped it would be enough to change the course of this war. Colossuses moved once again, this time in favor of the Count.
Hello, Even. Poor Even. You still don't know how to say what you want. But it's okay. I know you, Even. You understand me, don't you? My sisters. I've been looking for them too. You want to tell me that we're to meet by the sword bridges, don't you? I'll go there now. Join us when we're all gathered and I will have something for you. You are taking a long time doing what I want, even. Too long. Even? It's cold. And it's getting colder. Oh, tons of things take time. Dying takes time, you know. But it can only be deliciously drawn out for so long. Until it too must reach an end. So much haste in someone so small. Welcome to the warrior's meditation. It's much calmer than the warrior's training. Greetings, truth and victory seeker. To begin, stretch your arms. Excellent. Now, 
Exhale all tension from your body. Excellent. Now, stand on one foot and hop. Excellent. You are now a trained and centered warrior, ready to go out and win victory for your inner triplet. I simply cannot stress this enough. Excellent. No further questions. This class is concluded. And what did you learn? Then you have found the truth. Well done, my student. You have made me proud, and also correct. You have? Describe her to me. I can see why. Thank you for this. It will enhance my stratagems for sure. You have? Describe him to me. Terrific. Thank you. The more I know about him, the more I can build an accurate, predictive model of his behavior. You have? Describe him to me. That's our Duke. Thanks. All this information helps my strategies become even more unstoppable. That's right, and it's been educational. They all seem to be stuck in the same chaotic squabbling roles they have had since they were children. Nanny was wise to order me not to take any signs. I see that now. Here, I would like to give you a token of my appreciation with my thanks. Hello, even. I wasn't expecting to find you here. You've done well to find me, even. I know my sisters appreciate it. I do. I'm to go to the safe spot by the sword bridges. Then you're to join us, and we're to give you something, right? Because I know you, even, and I hope I will see you again.
even... Did you... Forget about me? Child... She's not coming. You need to give up hope. Oh, he can't hear you. And soon, he won't hear anything ever again. from where I'm looking. All I see is you playing detective and wasting Bernard's time. Hello, Even. Even now, you don't dare ask the question you most want answered, Even. It's okay. We all work within the systems we're trapped in. I thank you for your help. You found us and helped us, and nothing lasts forever. I'm sorry, Even. I know this isn't the ending you wanted. I know I'm broken. I know I can't be fixed. But now, I can rest. For what it's worth, I hope you find Odd, even. And when you do, I hope she's not like me, even. There are three heads you need to be careful of, but they're not the triplets you think they are. You have so much pain ahead of you. I promised you a gift, but this is all I can give you. A dead girl, hoping with all her heart that your lost sister won't share her fate. I miss my husband. I miss my husband. We were separated when the king died, trapped in two different parts of the freedom. He's trapped deep within the Baroness's territory. Oh 
Oh my goodness! You've seen him! How does he look? What did he say? Oh, he's alive! He's really alive! You've done a great kindness to me today, stranger. A great kindness. Thank you. Nothing. 
Nothing awaits you in your future but pain and heartbreak. Just words. Words I've heard before from countless people. They all fell like you will. Even noticed a small companion looked like he had something he wanted to say. What were we talking about again? That finger, it reminds me of something. It was the fight with the, the king, and he, and I, and we... Ugh, I, I'm afraid it's gone. But it's become clearer. Bring me more. I need more to remember. What were we talking about again? Oh, that portrait of the children, the triplets, and their father, their poor father, the king, killed, killed while I, while he, uh, I can't remember. I need more, more objects to jog my poor memory. What were we talking about again? My arm. I remember. I wore this. I used this to help defend the king when he... 
on that night when he... But then it... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Please bring me more objects. I'm so close to remembering. I can feel it. What were we talking about again? By the dice maker. I remember this. It came for us so quickly, so savage, we couldn't... Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue and then it's gone. It's... I'm sorry, even. What were we talking about? Please, even. Bring me more artifacts. They each help, but together I'm sure I can... I'm sure I can remember something. Yes, even. You've... You've done it! Seeing them all together, I... I remember everything! Oh, by the dice maker, you've saved me! Alright, which one of you pranksters rang the bell? I knew it was a trap! Assassins! Oh, trap! Ah, shush, children! Niska! You're alive! You should all be ashamed to have disgraced your father's beloved freedom so, and how proud he was of you. But bloody this is just not how he raised you. <laughs> Listen, I was there that doomed night when your father was murdered. And Niska the bodyguard recounted vividly what had happened that night. It was a tale of a god lady gone awry, of a blade against mechanical arm, and of a cold-blooded murder. I was going to roll my dice. Well, that's how fights were done in those days. But this murderer didn't play by the rules. My trusty arm was cut off. I returned the favor and tore off the perpetrator's finger. And that perpetrator was the Shadow Man. Busted. Oh, hey, even there you are. I should have been there to guide you all. I went mad with guilt for failing your father, and I ran away. I am so sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> it appears that this war might have been for naught. This war was all because you three never talked to each other? You people are the worst! Thanks for the outfit, Bernie. You think you'll be okay now? Sure thing. I can find my way home to one cross with my eyes closed. Easy peasy. Don't worry, Even. I'll make sure he gets home. And good luck to you. Uh, I'm not good at goodbyes. Say hi to Odd. Oh, I almost forgot. You like pips, right? This is all that was left of Mr. Shady when you poofed him. Weird, huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey, hey guys. All right. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, even. 
Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> I just found it in there. I figured it might do something cool in some card game, but I don't know. I hope you like it. What are friends for, right? I wish I had. Well, I mean, no, I don't wish I had. Because being a Sixer is supposed to be magical, but that nanny was just really mean to everyone. So it's good that I haven't seen her, because that means the nanny hasn't gotten her. At least, not yet. I'm sorry, even. It's been a crazy day. I just want to go home. Sure, I'll tell him. I just hope your dad isn't still mad at me for breaking that teapot. Whoa! <laughs> then he won't be mad at me at all. <laughs> okay, then. Sure, I'll tell him no problem. Don't intend to. Okay, bye. Uh, oh, even? Uh, before I go, I just wanted to say, I hope you find your sister soon. I always liked her, even. I'm sure she's safe. She can defend herself. After all, she's a great puncher. <laughs> I just want to be a kid again. I don't want to have to worry about people trying to put me in their ribcage. Bye! And <laughs> don't call me kid. We're practically the same age. There you are. Ah, the real shame was that I was lost for so long. But you, you found me even. And the war that's torn apart this family is finally over. You did good even, but you need to move on. I have the feeling other people need you. And I'll miss you. What did you say your name was, little girl? I'm just having some fun with you, even. Now go. Run along now. Nishka has things she needs to do. Greetings. I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Splendid, splendid. I have only one question. Who do you th who do you think did it? Who do you think? None of. Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>